Hey guys, it's me. I'm back, Kira Shanae. Woohoo! Yeah. Stop it. I love Kira Shanae, man. Oh. <laughs> Kira Shanae? Kiara Shanae. Is Come on. Ask Kiara Shanae. She gonna give you a tea. Cause I let my nuts hang low to the flow. So, Ruby Rose, this might expose my age. Ruby is going to be on the show Baddies East. I think, I haven't seen Baddies East. I know they've been doing it for a while. Like, they didn't have a reunion and all kind of stuff. Some of the people I'm familiar with, because I used to watch Bad Girls Club back in the day. So, that's why I say this might, this little info might expose my age. I'm familiar with um, Natalie Nunn, of course, Tommy Lee, of course, Lo London, Krishan Rock, of course. And then Kat, Kat looks familiar from this picture. I kind of remember her from um, Bad Girls Club, but they bring it on Ruby Rose on Baddies East and she was on live a couple of days ago and she said that she's scared that the girls might try to fight her. And I feel like, y'all can let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Did y'all used to watch Bad Girls Club? Did y'all, do y'all watch currently Baddies East and who's your favorite like baddie from the show? But as far as Ruby, I feel like if you don't want to get in no fights at all, you don't want no confrontation, you ain't about that life, you should not even go on that show unless you're willing to be very feminine and be very calm and be very peaceful and leave the masculine rah-rah energy at home now when we see ruby on live she's very sweet and stuff but you know from her past relationships we know we know you a little bit about that life so you just gotta be able to manage your feelings in your mouth if you're gonna go on baddest east because krishan rock i think she's still filming if i'm not mistaken well what show was that because i just see krishan like filming her uh her five month 20 week pregnancy update and it was the cameras and stuff but i don't know if that was for her and blueface's show or if that was for betty so i'm not sure quick commercial break y'all know our services are popping and if you don't know let me put you up on game real quick we have content management services that will teach you the game of youtube and how to play it youtube is a game and when you learn it you win you become successful you start to make money from it you start to see those low views turn into mo views you heard subscribers going up money going up you going up who you leaving behind better yet who you bringing with you oh and if you don't like editing or you don't know how to edit we'll edit your videos for you contact us today on instagram at kiera Sinead, or you can email truvy studios at gmail.com what show krishan is currently on but krishan was on Baddies east and we know how krishan get down so ruby Girl, good luck. <laughs> good luck if you're going on the show. I think I think it's official. I don't think she got a choice. I think they didn't already signed up for it. So uh hashtag good luck Ruby in the comments for Ruby Rose. Okay, Tasha K and Cardi B. I want to talk about that real quick because I just I see this today and Cardi B sees $640 from Tasha K's YouTube account. And I understand I've seen multiple articles. Some articles say that the judge um ordered tasha k to pay cardi a million dollars and then some articles say that she was ordered to pay four million so i don't know which million is correct but a million whether it's one million or four that's a lot of millions and i understand tasha k was talking mess about cardi tasha k is a youtuber she does media the winos you know with the winos if y'all are familiar with tasha k and she pretty much, I think she lied on, this is allegedly because I don't know for sure. But I think she lied on Cardi B and said that she had like STD and like just, just drags Cardi B's name through the mud on her YouTube channel. And her YouTube channel is pretty big. So this was, this caused uh, like a lot of mental issues with Cardi. Like it caused her to be depressed and stuff. And she sued her and she got, you know, a lot of money. And recently she sees six hundred dollars from her account and i'm just like dang bro like this was last year january this is when the judge ordered so a year later tasha k uh yeah she's still getting her money like because she must have had a million all at once so cardi is just taking like every time she makes some money she just taking it i'm, I'm assuming that's what she's doing so that's just crazy let me know what y'all think about that in the comments so ddg has been tweeting some 
some interesting tweets. Um, I believe that he is going through some things because y'all remember he had um he got the the pow pow charge right. Like this was probably last year now. So the judge, we talking about judges today. The judge had ordered him to like go to high schools, and I don't know if it was perform or speak to the high schools. That was one of the things he had to do. You know, when you get in trouble with the law, they make you do things. Another one of the things was he had to go to like the morgue and he said, he said this on his, his Twitch. It's multiple, <sighs> I get the creeps even thinking about it. Multiple like, you know, unalived bodies and they're decomposing. And some people, it was like a motorcycle accident or something like that. And a guy, half of his head was uh, missing because it must've been a bad accident. And they got him in the room, and it probably was other people too, like all the other people that got in trouble with the law. And I get it, the judge just wants you to like learn because he did have, you know, the pow pow charge. It's like, hey, this is not the route you want to go down, so let me try to scare some sense into you. But like, that could mess you up, bro. Like, you know, you probably, after, after that, he probably didn't even want to go to sleep. Just imagine seeing that crazy stuff. So life been life in lately, not gonna lie. That's one of the tweets that he tweeted. And when I seen that tweet, that's what I thought of. I thought of the more, and I can only imagine like what he's going through. So we're gonna be kind in the comment section. If you know, if you guys see one of his crazy tweets or if he's on Twitch and one of his crazy clips go viral, just be mindful that, I said mindful, mindful that, you know, just be kind with your words because you just never know what he's going through or what the next influencer is going through with having all of just the stresses of life upon them. Okay. The last topic is Lil TJ and Lala. So this happened, I'm talking with my hands a lot. This happened a few weeks ago. So y'all remember Lil TJ and Lala, they had went and they had took pictures and he had the purple outfit on. And if you swipe, swipe, swipe from Instagram, one of the pictures with him was with, with him. <laughs> One of the pictures was with him and Lala. And I think I did a video, if I'm not mistaken. I did a video about it. But he kept the post up and he deleted the picture with Lala. I'm assuming, you know, it's it might be a little trouble in paradise. They could be good now though. Because, you know, people be off and on nowadays. So, like, TJ, he tweeted, his next girl ain't having no Instagram. And then he also said, low-key girls be the best ones. So, I take that as. You don't want your girl. He, he like, he kind of like Tusi. Remember Tusi? Was it Tusi or was it NLE? It was NLE Chopper. Playing this baby with, with his, his now baby mama who she pregnant with his baby. They planned this baby and then he wanted her to delete her Instagram. And she like, I work. This is, this is how I get my money. I'm not about to delete all my social media to please you. So little TJ don't want a girl who out there like Lala. Lala, I think she make money on Instagram too. You know, with the, the brand deals and stuff like that. So TJ want a low key girl. And Lala probably like, this is how I get my money. Like, I can't just delete my social media. Double standards is crazy. I just want a redo. Yeah, they was going through, this was a few weeks ago. So, you know, they probably didn't hash it out. Lala still got her Instagram, so I don't know. But let me know in the comments, how do y'all feel about that? How do y'all feel about these famous celebrity guys wanting their girls off of social media? Is it because they don't want the girl to see what they doing on social media or i mean i don't know i don't i can't think of another reason why you would not want your partner on the social media the same social media that you're on i don't know i don't know